U.S. President Joe Biden does not think the Chinese government carried out the global cyber espionage campaign, but he believes that the Asian country protected the hackers. His statement comes after the United States and its allies accused China of the campaign. Biden, in the meantime, says the investigation is still underway. To the best of my knowledge, and I'm getting a report tomorrow morning on this, a detailed report, my understanding is that the Chinese government, not unlike the Russian government, is not doing this themselves, but are protecting those who are doing it, and maybe even accommodating them being able to do it. That may be the difference. And joining us now is Piotr Cousin. He's a geopolitical analyst from the United Kingdom. Thank you very much, Piotr, for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. It's, uh, it's very exciting to be here. I do appreciate uh, uh, being on, on, on to share and talk about this very important and timely topic. Great. Um, so let's go straight to it. The scale of cyber attacks is, I mean, in question is pretty huge. Can you help us understand why it's becoming bigger and bigger? Um, so, I mean, generally cyber attacks and cyber security is something that is becoming one of the uh, prevalent ways that um, countries sort of undergo geostrategical maneuvering and balance against one another. We're out of the days of conventional warfare where, you know, traditional military uh, fights would be occurring and we're now, everything's being done online. And I think with the impact of the COVID pandemic, we've really seen that shift even more. And so uh, countries that are challenging the US hege hegemony uh, are going to be um, um, uh, coming and utilizing such tactics like these more and more, uh, including China, Russia, Iran, and, and uh, others. Well, there seems to be no love lost between China and the rest of the world. Um, why do you think that China is, is coming under so much fire, especially when it comes to um, you know, cyber espionage, like the one that the US gov uh, government is referring to? Um, so China is in a bit of a rock and a hard place, I think, at the moment, because they are they're going up against a lot of criticism, given the uh, what happened with the pandemic. There is, you know, there's some speculations as to whether or not they, sh they could have released information about the, uh, the virus sooner than they did, uh, that they're that they are protecting uh, in, uh, individuals who do uh, malign activities like these, and also because of their human rights issues ongoing with the Uyghurs in, in the west of China. There's, a, there's just a lot of, uh, shall we say, um, questionable activities that the CCP are, are doing, and I think that it, a lot of the international community are beginning to really sit up and take notice and, and want to hold them to account. Well, uh, if China were to be behind this, we're saying if, um, uh, what could be the motivation of China to be behind this cyber esp espionage? What would be, um, you know, the end game? That's a very good question uh, and not one that we can we can fully uh, ascertain, given that, you know, these are things that do go on in background and we kind of fully uh, gain all the information. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a balancing game. The US has been the dominant power for pretty much 70, 80 years since the Second World War. Um, and and they, they were particularly at the collapse of the Soviet Union, uh, were the only power, the hegemon. So China is now here. It is, it is rising in, in many ways. Uh, and so it wants to find ways to challenge and, and, and in some ways undermine the, uh, the, 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 the grapple hold that the, the Western world, if you like, has had for so long. Um, and as I say, I think cyber attacks is one of the ways that they go about that. Do you see an end in sight, especially when the US and its allies are li literally fingering um, you know, China in all of this? Do you see an end? Uh, is there a time where China and the rest of the world will come to a, some sort of agreement or have a common ground of sorts? Well, if we take it back a little bit, particular relations, Sino-US relations have been um, delicate uh, given the shift in US policy under the Trump administration. Uh, we are effectively, the United States and China are effectively in a form of war, a trade war, and they have been since 2018 uh, or so. Um, and so if they're going to start doing malign activities like these, then that's just going to escalate things even more uh, to the point where it's difficult to really tell how far you can, um, how where is this is going to go. I don't see it boiling over into like a hot war of actually, like, you know, military engagement between the two countries. But uh, it's definitely going to see a deterioration in, in, in the country's relations. Um, and, uh, and it's difficult because China has such a centrality to so much of the global economy. 
uh, in globalization and our reliance on China to, to produce so much of everything that we take uh, for granted for in the West. And so it's it's going to be delicate to see where where the um, where the relations go. I, I myself can't, I don't want to try and make predictions because it could it could take a very different number of uh, directions. Um, but I, I can't see things getting moving that quickly, unfortunately. I think that way, the, the way that we'll see some kind of cooperation will be through areas like um, climate change. If China plays ball with the uh, with the global pandemic and allows the WHO to access uh, uh, the Wuhan market and releases more of the information, then there will be ways that the US and China can work together. But if they continue to undertake activities such as these, uh, it's, it's going to be difficult to see how we can, how we can all be you know, uh, brotherly and, and close, unfortunately. Well, thank you very much. Piotr Cousin is a geopolitics geopolit uh, uh, analyst and he joined us from the United Kingdom. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.